Hi YouTube, so today I decided to do a layout but I also wanted to also show you how you can take a picture that you like that might have come out a little blurry and you like it but you don't want to delete it so I'm going to show you how you can fix it um, so you can use it on your layout now I have this picture of mine that I like now if you notice it's a little blurry let me see if I can make it smaller you can see okay so this is a picture of a cruise I took with my family and my husband took, was the one that took the picture but I guess due to the lighting it came up blurry I don't know if you can see it but on the face is the eyes are not are not sharpened and I like it but I don't want to delete it so this is how I'm gonna fix that problem the first thing you want to do is of course I'm gonna crop my pictures I'm gonna go to the crop tool let me zoom in a little bit I'm gonna go to my crop tool and I already selected 5 by 7 which is the size resolution at 300 okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm holding my camera because my tripod I don't know, it doesn't work out too well okay so I'm gonna bring it down to here I'm going to just bring it in a little bit I want to remove that sign right there let me see this is about good yeah, I think that's about good. Okay, that's about good. So, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go to my magnifying glass. And I'm going to um, hit fit screen. I'm going to picture fit right on my screen. Now that I have that, if you notice the background is a little dark, so I'm going to fix that too. I go to image, adjustment. You could do your own level settings, but I noticed that if I just do auto levels, it does a pretty good job. I'm going to hit that. And if you notice, it makes my picture pop some more. And I'm going to go back, same place, image, adjustment. This time I'm going to go to auto color. And if you notice, it fixes my color. So it like tones down some of the red. And then I'm going to go one more time, image adjustment and I'm gonna go this time to contrast and that's just gonna give it a little bit of a pop okay I like to take a picture of what I'm doing in case I have to go back and fix something so that's what I'm gonna do and you can see it right there then I'm gonna go to one more time image adjustment this time I'm gonna visit the bright brightness and contrast it's one of my favorite tools and basically I'm just going to play around with the brightness just make it a little brighter maybe 12 would be good not too dark not too light so I really like the way that looks okay now you want to unlock your layer by double clicking it you're going to get this little pop up you hit OK I like to just drag my layer to make another layer and you end up with two layers right then what you're gonna do you're gonna go to filter you're gonna go to other and then high pass and your picture is gonna change color it's gonna be like a gray now you can still see a little bit of the image if you can see that now I like to keep it low I don't want to overdo it so I'm going to leave mine at 1.8 as the radius pixels and then I'm going to hit ok you can play around with it you know up and down if you want it to be more sharpened I don't like it to overdo it because I like it to look natural so I like to leave mine fairly low on some pictures and I'm going to hit ok then what you're going to do you're going to come down to your layers then you're going to have the high pass here and your picture down here you're gonna go to your layer where it says normal and you're gonna look for soft light and you're gonna click on that and that's gonna bring your picture back okay now I'm gonna take another picture so I can show you the before and after where am I okay take another picture now I'm gonna show you how it looked like before so this was the before and if you can see it but once you do it after 
and also let me do it like this oh, this is how it looked like when it was blurry and this is as a sharp so it just fixes up some more and you can actually save it you don't have to delete it now if it's extremely blurry then it's, there's nothing you can do but if it's just a little bit you can definitely fix it and print it and enjoy your picture okay so then i'm gonna send you to i'm gonna bring you to my scrapping area and i'm gonna show you the layer that i'm gonna create 